Bonani. Eames, hi everybody. All the way from South Africa. And I just wanted to drop in and say hi on this very special day. And just pray God's blessings over everyone. And just say that even though I'm here in, in Africa, I think about Philadelphia often. And I just think of the amazing things that God has for us there. And I'm so excited. And I just think that Highway is already a beautiful group of faithful people, just lovely people that are that are going after God. And I just think that the more that we hunger after Him and we desire Him above everything else, that He's just going to pour Himself out in our midst and that our hearts will be receptive to, um, to hear even more from Him. I'm just so excited. So um, I can't wait to get back and see everybody and just spread the love that God has just lavished on me. And mom and dad, I love you. I haven't forgotten you. <laughs> I miss you. I love you. I'm going to see you guys soon. And um, God is good. I'm just so excited for this church and for what God has. And each and every one of you are so special to me. And I'm just so grateful for you all and for everything God has for us. So I will see you guys soon. And um, ciao, ciao. Good morning, Highway Tabernacle and Resurrection Life. When Maria asked me if I want to make a video, uh, just saying what Highway meant to me, what Resurrection Life meant to me, I was more than honored and uh, just thankful that I was asked uh, to be able to share a part of your special day. Although I'm many miles and continents away, I'm able to just share with you guys just what Highway and Resurrection Life means to me. And, uh, you know, Highway represents a place where I felt that I sensed what God was calling me to do when I got his heart for uh, just the broken and the hurting, you know. Uh, year after year, I was able to uh, just come and learn from some of the very best and learn uh, just what it is to be God's hands and foot extended. And as I stand here today in Mozambique, I know that I would not be here if it hadn't been for the people that invested in me and believed in me and stood behind me and encouraged me. And even as a young teenager, I think about, you know, being 17 and applying to come to, you know, Philadelphia and wondering if they would even let me come. You know, and I went and I met with Pastor Wagner and Candace and I prayed but I left. I said, God, if there was any way, could I please live with somebody? And I was, you know, a little nervous. And a few days later, I got a phone call from Pastor Wagner and said that they were going to open up their home to me. And, uh, you know, years later, that still just rings so true in my heart. Just the, it just will always be a memory that means so much to me, that the Wagners opened up their home to me, to this 17-year-old girl that had no clue what she was doing, no idea, uh, you know, at all of what, it, what to do in the city. And, uh, you know, they welcomed me in. And, I know that I am who I am today because of people like you guys that poured in my life, invested in my life, spoke words of encouragement over me, told me I could do things that I don't think I even knew that I could do myself. And um, you know, I'm also very honored that two years ago you guys asked me to be a youth pastor and um, you believed in me to lead the youth and that will always be something that's very dear to my heart although I know the youth are in great hands now. Um, it will always be something that meant so much to me that I was able to spend those years, you know, investing in their lives. And um, it's also so cool for me to see people like AJ and Kayla and Zach, who are super little, when I came. And, uh, you know, growing up now and serving God and serving God in uh, the church uh, just blows my mind. And so just keep doing what you're doing. I love you guys. Praying for you. Have a great celebration.